as we get set for the international challenge I've got goosebumps waiting for this one when it was announced it seemed otherworldly to think that these two men would collide inside of a glory pro ring but Davy Richards made the challenge he asked for anyone anywhere send us your best in St. Louis and he's gonna get exactly that the howl of the wolf means only one man and Davy Richards is gonna be followed to the ring by Team Ambition Davy Richards looks ready. CZW World Heavyweight Champion, five times Impact World Tag Team Champion, PWG World Champion. He won the ECWA Super 8 and the Best of Los Angeles, the Battle of Los Angeles in the same year, 2006. ROH World Heavyweight Champion and three-time World Tag Team Champion. Davy Richards is one of the elite of the elite, but so is the man will step out of that curtain next. One of the baddest men to ever walk planet Earth. If you can fight there, he's been there. If you can win it, he's won it. He's one of the best of all time. He is an absolute legend. And the next man to step through the curtain at Glory Pro Wrestling for the very first time. It's the incredible, the unmatched, Minoru Suzuki. This is surreal. He debuted on April 10th, 1988, and has been competing ever since. 30 and 19 as a professional mixed martial artist. He's won everything there's to win in Japan. And now he comes to Glory Pro. And this is Minoru's moment. never thought I would hear Kaze Ninare in Glory Pro Wrestling. It is an absolute honor to have the opportunity to call a match between these two incredible wrestlers. Ben, into you. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest is set for one fall with a 30 minute limit. Your referee is Brandon Cole. Introducing first to my left, Accompanied by Team Ambition from the St. Louis, weighing 206 pounds, the American Wolf. Team Ambition ready to see their leader in this one. And to my right, from Yokohama, Japan. Oh, if it wasn't real before, that stare down says everything you need to know. Minoru Suzuki, All Japan Triple Crown Champion. His first reign with that title went 357 days. GHC Heavyweight and Tag Team Champion. IWGP Intercontinental and Tag Team Champion. Never Openweight Champion. All Asian Tag Team Champion twice. And All Japan World Tag Team Champion. 30 and 19 in mixed martial arts with two wins over Ken Shamrock. What an incredible matchup this is. 
They square off center ring. Davy Richards go behind. Rear waist lock as the arm of Suzuki who takes it right back. Suzuki bringing Richards down to the canvas. Has wrist control. Now steps down. Richards, nice move to roll him onto his shoulders. Quick count of one. Suzuki gonna slide that arm of Richards down. Now he'll take it and work into side control for Kimura. Double wrist lock for our catch wrestling friends. Davey Richards able to reverse out of it. Take the wrist of Minoru Suzuki. The leader of Suzuki-gun, one of the most feared factions to ever come across. They invaded and ran Noah for a year. Davey Richards. Now taking that hammer lock to the backside. Capturing the other arm of Suzuki. As this puts Minoru Suzuki in a real tough spot as Richards rolls him over to his shoulders. Count of two. And both men back up to their feet for the standoff. Minoru Suzuki has been in an MMA matchup with the likes of Maurice Smith, Vernon White, Guy Mesker, who he beat all of, Boss Rutan twice inside the ring in Japan and Pancrase, Frank Shamrock twice, Yuki Kondo, the giant semi Shilt, and Canadian Dennis Kang, all on the list of fighters who stepped into a ring with Minoru Suzuki. Whether he was successful or not, they'll all tell you the same thing. Well, he wouldn't have been able to do that inside that ring. Small joint manipulation going to the fingers, and that'll bring Davey Richards down to the canvas with that arm lock. Suzuki loves nothing more than to inflict pain. Go behind from Minoru Suzuki. Davey Richards, the man who made the challenge, rolls him down, takes the leg. Now he's got options from here. Trying to work Achilles lock, perhaps. Minoru Suzuki steps over, takes control of Richards' leg, and Suzuki very accomplished in submission wrestling. Davia Richards trying to take the advantage back. Suzuki makes his way back up to a seated position. And every time they change the leverage and they change the way the leg is being bent. Oh, now rolling through Suzuki, kept a hold of Davy Richards' leg, had that ankle in a nasty position with the knee trapped. Both men to the ropes. Both men released initially, but Minoru Suzuki wanted to cause a little bit more pain. And our referee Brandon Toll better just get out of the way. And who? Oh, Suzuki was threatening to leg pick him. And now he'll just straighten up the stripes for him. I guess he's not always mean. I would be scared to death if I had to stand in a ring with Minoru Suzuki. Heck, I'd be scared to death if I met him anywhere. Now Davey Richards captures the legs, great fine. Went to the trap muscles, now back to that leg. Steps over. Suzuki's right leg. Oh, Suzuki with a strike from the bottom. Davy Richards stays right on it. That step over toe hold from Richards now drops the, the elbow down. Richards, standing position. Nice little step over here, bringing the legs down and that's gonna hurt. That'll start to slow Suzuki down, breaking his base down. Team Ambition, very calm and cool on the outside. Watching the coach, the leader, Davey Richards. And right now in control of this matchup as he kicks inside and outside of that leg, softening up the hamstrings, the quads. And you can hear the crowd, obvious respect 
from Minoru Suzuki, and you have to. You absolutely have to for everything he's done in professional wrestling and mixed martial arts as he makes his way over the top rope with an arm bar. Count being put in, but it's a great counter from Suzuki. He knew he had the count of five, and he had that arm of Richard stretched out over the top rope. Now Suzuki looking to press that advantage and throws Richards into the post. Stomping down is Suzuki, trying to work on that shoulder. Suzuki bringing Davey Richards back to his feet. As I said earlier, Minoru Suzuki debuted April 10th, 1988. Davey Richards debuted May 7th, 2004. Experience edge in this matchup goes the way of Minoru Suzuki by a wide margin. I mean, you're talking about a 16 year difference in professional experience. Suzuki 53, Richards 38. And Richards goes to the jawline. They both debuted in wrestling at a young age. Oh, what an elbow from Suzuki. And the way he turns that strike over, when you watch Suzuki throw that strike, it looks like a standard forearm until he turns it over at the last second and fires in the point of that elbow. That's what makes the difference. Instead of the meat of that forearm landing, the muscle on the inside of the arm, now it's the bone, the point of the elbow landing as Minoru Suzuki backs down Team Ambition. Nothing illegal about the elbow strike. It is a beautiful strike if you can throw it. Davy Richards back to his feet. Minoru Suzuki snaps him over. And now brings him down right across that knee. Using that rear chin lock to pull back and now the arms. Bad place to be if you're Davy Richards as Suzuki steps over to use his weight. Now turns down. Hammer lock with that arm in. Now grasping a hold of Richards' other arm. Now look at this. Davey Richards, because of the leg in that grapevine of the hammer lock, has nowhere to go. So as he pulls back the other arm, think of all the muscles and ligaments he's pulling and wrenching in a way other than which nature intended. And now right back to that arm bar. Has hold of the thumb and the fingers. Oh, that's miserable. And this is what Suzuki does. Bending back those fingers. Manipulating the joints and now breaking down that wrist and forearm. Suzuki rolls back, softening up the arm, looking for that straight arm bar. And Davey Richards is gonna roll his way to the ropes. Count being put in, Suzuki broke it three. Gotta say, that's a bit of a surprise. I thought he might test that a little further. Stomping Richards down in the corner. Davey Richards, no stranger to Minoru Suzuki and vice versa. They both competed in New Japan at the same time, but never against one another. Charging in is Suzuki. Out of the way is Davey Richards. Oh, Richards, dragon screw leg whip. And he did it over that second rope for a little bit extra. Now up to the top. Richards, don't waste time, Davey. Oh, that wolf's howl. Double stop. Suzuki out of the way, but Richards is able to roll through. Suzuki misses with the kick. Roll up from Richards. Captures the legs. Steps through. Oh, beautiful setup to the submission. Stepped in, wrapped the legs through, and then turned that death lock right over. It's a modified version of that death lock where Davey Richards is able to wrap those legs together, essentially figure for them, then roll over and use his own foot as the fulcrum, the pressure point, to force Minoru Suzuki into a whole lot of pain. Suzuki reaching out, 
He can't quite make the ropes. He's in big trouble. Richards pushing on that death lock submission. Suzuki trying to crawl his way. He will not give it up. He may pass out from pain if he can't reach the rope. Suzuki trying to reach it, gets it. Richards trying to get back to his feet. Suzuki trying to check and make sure that everything is all right with the legs, with the base. And you see the look in the eyes of the American Wolf. He's on a roll right now. Suzuki based in that corner, essentially trying to take a breather as he sends Richards across. Catches him with the boot in the corner. Snapmare take over to bring him out. Suzuki off the ropes, right to the chest. Count of one, two, and a half. No kick pads on Minoru Suzuki. That's all shin bone when he throws that kick. I mean, you got a couple options, but it's flat of the foot and boot laces, or it's shin bone. Oh, back kick from Davy Richards, nails him. Suzuki! Off the ropes goes the American Wolf, and he lands one of his own. Count of one. Suzuki sits up. His face expressionless. He likes this. He just smiled at Davy Richards. He didn't even go down. He didn't even go down. Suzuki sits back up, staring at Davy Richards. He still won't go down. This is one of the toughest men to have ever walked this planet. And Richards just raining in those kicks, and Suzuki determined not to fall. That time he had no choice. Count of two and a half before Suzuki kicks out. Think about this. We know what an accomplished striker that Davey Richards is inside that squared circle. Minoru Suzuki sat in the center of the ring with his arms at his sides and grinned at Davey Richards to bring it on. Davey Richards looking for that suplex. Trying to hoist Minoru up. Minoru puts the brakes on. Now gets him up. Probably looking for the brain buster to try to finish him off here. Suzuki's gonna fight his way down. That knee caught Davey Richards up in the rib cage near the sternum. Front chancery from Suzuki. He could turn this into a guillotine choke, and that's what he's gonna do. Suzuki leaves his feet, essentially pulling guard. And Davey Richards trying to hold him from that standing position. Richards is gonna fight him off. He fought the grip down, he fought the legs down. Now Davey Richards working at that ankle. Ankle lock submission from Richards. Towards the center of the ring, he's in complete control. Suzuki, again in big trouble in this submission. Davey Richards has him in the middle of the ring as Suzuki pulls, Richards pulls him right back. Now if Richards were to drop and great find that leg, Minoru Suzuki would be in big, big trouble. I know from that standing position, you can get more torque, you can get more leverage, but if he dropped down, he leaves Suzuki nowhere to go. Suzuki trying to power his way out, and does! Was able to roll and fly Richards out of the ring. Gave you Richards right back in. Oh, he went for the leg again, and Suzuki nailed him with the knee. He nearly knocked him out. You're damn right this is awesome. And where else are you gonna see action like this other than Glory Pro Wrestling? If you wanna tell me right now that St. Louis isn't the mecca of professional wrestling, you're out of your mind. As Davey Richards trying to pull his way to his feet, Suzuki with that dangerous look. He is here for violence. Yes. Yeah. 
and he's stalking Davey Richards. And Davey Richards is gonna walk right into the jaws of the lion. Chop from Suzuki. Folded Richards down, but he comes right back up and says, give me one. Kick to the chest and that echo. Minoru likes this. He's having fun. All oh, that chop. And that said, when you hear that sound, what that means is it's not a flesh wound. That's into the muscle. Oh my goodness gracious. Just as I was saying that. I mean, those are gonna leave deep welts. Oh. The snap off the skin of these strikes landing is unbelievable. And neither one of these men want to give an inch. Suzuki won't go down. Richards won't go down. Look at the welts on the chests. And look at the look on the face of Suzuki. This is what Davey Richards wanted. This was that international challenge. Send us your best. He's standing right there for the American Wolf. As they're eye to eye in the center of the ring again. Left hand thrown by Davey Richards. Suzuki turning that elbow in again. Richards comes out left hand. Suzuki, that one might have been straight forearm. That one was a right hand. As now they exchange, Richards going more towards the elbow. And Suzuki again drops his hands and says, bring it on. Suzuki smiles and walks back to Davey Richards. I think he likes him. Oh my goodness. If that didn't knock him out, that one might. And there you see it, great camera shot. You can see how Suzuki turns that elbow over. That's artistry in striking. And that's just violence. Down goes Davey Richards. But in somewhat of a scary way, this is how Minoru Suzuki gets to like and respect someone. If Davey Richards can get back up to go nose to nose with Minoru Suzuki, he's gonna go a long way to earning it. Team Ambition starting to get loud for their coach. They want Davey Richards to get back up. They want him to stay in this fight. The American Wolf back to his feet. He's gonna charge out of Minoru Suzuki. And you gotta wonder, is this match gonna come down to just the first man to land a legendary finish? Davey Richards Brain Buster? Or Minoru Suzuki Scotch style pile driver? Although they seem to be content to strike on into the night. Oh, that one back Richards into the corner. Is Suzuki maybe trying to knock him out? Suzuki wants more! And the American Wolf will have no problem giving it to you. Those are open hand palm strikes and they are lighting it up. Davey Richards to the body, that spinning back kick doubled him over. Richards hits the ropes, Suzuki follows. Go behind, choke, no, broken down. Underneath, Suzuki has it the second time, turns him, gotch. Gotch style pile driver! No, 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 no! Davy Richards hits the brakes. He widens the base. Suzuki slowly gets him up the power. Gotch pile driver! Suzuki nailed it! Rolls him over! Center of the ring, cut it two! He got him! My God, what a fight!
Hendricks hit the brakes for as long as he could in preventing that gotch pile driver. But in the end, Suzuki was able to outlast. He broke the American Wolf down and got him up into the position. And once you're there, it's all over. Minoru Suzuki picks up the win in the International Challenge with the gotch style pile driver. And Minoru Suzuki has the microphone. Thank you. Thank you. No, thank you, Minoru. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Standing over Davy Richards, Minoru Suzuki extends the hand. What a show of respect from the international legend. Absolutely beautiful respect between these two. Davy Richards wanted the best around the world. He got it in Minoru Suzuki, who is leading on the chance of Davy. And Davy Richards was right there with him to the bitter end. Strike for strike, move for move, hold for hold. He couldn't have done any more in that match. Oh, that almost seems like it would be too good to be true. Minoru Suzuki says, I'll be back. My God, what does that mean? Minoru Suzuki will return to Glory Pro. What an unbelievable night this has been. Thank you for joining us for Little Ring of Horrors. I'm Reed Duffy. Please join us again November 7th for Wrestlepocalypse.